Hi everyone, welcome to Anacademy Neat English. I'm your biology educator Ambika Sharma and today we are going to talk about the difficulty level of Neat 2025 that whether the exam is going to be easy or is it going to be difficult. So I'm not the one who's going to predict it right because I'm feeling like that. No, I'm going to discuss certain factors and accordingly I will uh, explain that uh, what do I think about the difficulty level of the paper. I know some of you must be thinking that a few days back you all were talking about the challenges that we all have faced due to this NEET 2024 scam and now you have started talking about the NEET 2025. The reason is very simple students you all have noticed that as per the judgment by Supreme Court right you know that a lot of writ petitions and PIL are there in district court they are in the Supreme Court as well and as per that they have just the NTA has has just agreed to remove the grace marking and ask that students to give the re-examination and we know that that is no doubt going to affect the ranks of the students but not at that mass level we are clear about it isn't it so one thing is clear at this point of time because uh, there will be no stay on the counseling the counseling will be there basically they want the need 2025 to be on time and they don't want to delay the next academic session so it is in our official agency's mind right so accordingly of course being a neat biology educator and being a neat aspirant right you need to start studying and i need to start teaching okay and uh, see guys again in this particular video let me make this very clear for all the students right i'll be very honest about it guys it is not right need is not the only career option right but i have seen that students they are enthusiastic they are passionate about being a doctor right and we know that it is a very noble profession right but uh, they are going to give life to someone and that is why i know i know how you know the neat aspirants they associate themselves uh, themselves with this particular profession and that is why they want to crack this exam right no doubt they are faced students this year they have faced a lot of challenges they are facing a lot of challenges right during preparation as well because of cutoff as well because of number of seats as well because of that exam pressure family friends because of many things but still students they decide to go for the need because they want to be a doctor right they they consider it to be worth it okay and again if you guys are confused on this channel itself you can see the video that is mbbs worth it because it is just the first step right and i won't say that it is the first step it is actually something right that you need to qualify and then your steps are going to start so guys decide accordingly but yes if you have decided that you want to be and you want to qualify the need 2025 then of course as a biology educator i'm here to help you so now let's talk about its difficulty paper so first of all let's talk about the factors that the that basically decide that the paper will be difficult or not of course we consider number of aspirants right and we know that every year number of aspirants are increasing so obviously there will be an increase in competition but students to be very honest that that serious number of aspirants they'll be seeing that two lakhs three lakhs four lakhs that that number is going to be same there will be slight changes in that number but overall when we see that the number of aspirants they increase now some of you might feel offended that ma'am how can you say that they are the serious aspirant they are not because which is some students they just prepare for this examination because they don't know what to do else right they don't think that there is uh, that uh, there is something else that they can do trust me it is a fact right it is a fact so don't feel bad about it right i'm just presenting some facts in front of you so one thing is number of aspirants they are going to decide and i know whosoever decide to go to the mbbs college or though whosoever decide to take a drop they all consider that they are the serious aspirants but their continuous efforts are going to decide everything so so please consider this first thing right number of aspirants now difficulty level difficulty level of the paper these are the two major factors right that will decide the cutoff isn't it so first of all number of aspirants then the difficulty level of the paper so here i'm talking about the factors that are going to decide the cutoff then i will come to the easy and the difficulty level of the paper and other than that syllabus the curriculum basically right and i will also consider the resources okay so now let me explain as i said number of aspirants so every year they are increasing i'll show you one trend also when it comes to the difficulty level now we know that it is decreasing I'll give you one example here also and when it comes to the syllabus you know that even the syllabus is reduced right 79 chapters are there in totality now 79 chapters are there in totality earlier in biology we used to read 38 chapters now 32 chapters are there 32 chapters are there so the syllabus is less right 
paper difficulty level is also not there papers are comparatively easy number of aspirants they are more and if i talk about the resources these days students are having better resources they are having more resources right if you will see the official site nta as well they are also providing you the free lectures free question practice also you guys know it very well on youtube you have the free content as well right bachche and uh, you know that overall overall right if we compare it with uh, uh, last five years six years or seven years so you know that now resources are available right that is why there is more competition level also okay so this is one thing okay this is the, these are the factors that are going to decide the cutoff so i'll talk about the need 2024 also here so now look at this trend basically i think after 2018 right if i'm not wrong i'm confused in 2019 or 20 but yeah if i'm not wrong from 2019 nta has started conducting the need examination okay before that if you will see 2016 685 685 marks the highest marks 2017 697 marks highest marks 2018 691 right so 2019 nta 701 marks to 2020 we you know that paper was very 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 easy because covid was also there so they have considered such factors so two students they score full house 2021 three students they score full house in 2022 715 right and in this year biology was the game changer 2023 means last year two students scored 720 out of 720 and this time we know the number right so we know that 67 students were there and if we remove that grace mark thing then still a lot of students were there like let's say if i will if i don't consider that bonus marks and the grace marks then still 17 students they scored 720 out of 720 right so if you will hear the interview right of uh, the education minister actually i was checking some youtube videos i was checking some news channels so they have clearly mentioned it that they knowingly knowingly they decrease the difficulty level why why it's a good thought as well why are they in uh, decreasing the difficulty level because they were like that there are some students those who go to the school right they go to the school only they have just school is their only resource they don't have money to pay for the coaching fees right they don't have uh, money to take any private coaching so that is why they have decided that the level of paper right that level of paper should be like the school level so that all all the all the aspirants they get the equal chance so no doubt no doubt it's a good thought right there are students who are lacking resources and that is why they are not able to fight such competitions right so for them they made it easy and it is a very good thought but because of that what is happening because of that what is happening students because of that the number of right the number of students that are getting full house full marks the perfect score they are also increasing but if i talk about the number of seats they are same right if i talk about the number of seats they are same now, no doubt if they are decreasing the difficulty level because they want to, right, because our authorities, they want to give equal opportunities to all the students. That's a good thought, as I said. But don't you think that they need to increase the number of seats also? In that case, they should increase the number of seats. And it is not related to the to increasing the number of aims, right? Even if in existing aims, if they will start increasing even 10 seats, 15 seats, don't you think that will be beneficial also? Right. So these are the things. Okay. Right. These are the things. And these are the things that happened in NEET 2024. And we know that in NEET 2024, the agitation was there. Right. Students, they protested. Teachers, we, we teachers, we protested. Why? Because of that scam. Right. And yes, you know that NTA did not clarify everything. And now we know many things, but still I cannot say that that see, we got the justice, students got the justice. No, I cannot use such words. Right. Because, uh, uh, they just played very safe because they just removed the grace marks, right? But we are not talking about paper leak, this and that, nothing. We are not talking about anything else. So let's leave that behind. And now on the basis of what we experienced in NEET 2024, right? And now what is going to happen in NEET 2025? Let's discuss about it. So students, see, it's a trend. First of all, look at this, right? So it is obviously from the official NTA notice. In 2019, 15,1900,377 students were there. And, 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 in these six years, you can see the jump here. So in 2024, we know that 24 lakh students, they filled the form. And appeared, number of students that appeared in, these, uh, in this exam, 23 lakh. So basically, number of aspirants, they are increasing. So from this, you can conclude one thing that even in 2025, right, because of that cures also, Right. You cannot say that that ma'am uh, because of all that chaos, maybe next year number of aspirants they will they, uh, that are going to be less. No, no. Personally, I don't think so because every year there is a jump. There is a jump. In 2000 and 2009, 20, the jump was not that uh, big, but still there was a jump. 
here there was a jump now here you can see that it was near about 2 lakhs 2 lakhs 4 lakhs okay so there is a jump so i won't say that next year also right uh, if uh, for 2024 it was 24 lakh aspirants next year it can become 28 lakhs nahi but at least you can say that 25 yeah 26 lakh aspirants they will be there right that is the first factor i hope you all agree that is the first factor that right instead of 24 lakhs i'm not saying that next year jump will be of 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs but it can be it is possible even it is possible as I said, I cannot predict, right? I'm talking about the facts. So it is possible. It is possible. But as of now, we know that number of seats are still same. Okay, number of seats are still same. First factor. Second factor is the number of chapters. 79 chapters are there only, right? 79 chapters are there only. Isn't it students? How many chapters are there? 79 chapters. Okay, now the third factor that we need to consider here is that ma'am okay number of aspirants will again increase for NEET 2025 and the chapters the syllabus is less and the third factor is going to be the difficulty level so here bache i want to say one thing that because it this time agitation was there right there were many questions there are many questions on the student marks on their ranking so next year maybe maybe to get that clean chit nta will try to keep a difficult paper because even if in this year even if let's say even if uh, even if two students they would have scored uh, 720 marks yeah three students yeah four students still right still everyone will be like okay fine we know that this is happening but see 17 students if i don't consider grace marks and bonus marks so we are saying 17 17 students they scored perfect house right they scored 720 out of 720 so basically next year they will try to increase the difficulty level to avoid all these questions right to avoid all these questions so three factors right the number of aspirants definitely they will increase for the next year right bache for need 2025 number of aspirants they will increase yes bache right syllabus it's already reduced okay difficulty level just to protect itself nta will increase the difficulty level so if you will ask me yes need 2025 will be difficult right if you will ask me need 2025 will be difficult in comparison to the need 2024 one thing now i'm not going to scare you I'll come to some another points. Here again, the same data, right? 2023, 2024, number of students qualified and all. We know that, right? But inf uh, inflation was there in the rank. But ultimately, ma'am, how do we need to prepare for the exam? Ultimately, students, you need to follow the NCERT only. If I'm saying that exam is going to be difficult, that doesn't mean that they are going to change the pattern, right? That doesn't mean they are going to uh, change their resources. Of course, they are ultimately going to follow the NCERT only right so now some students they ask me what to do ma'am should we go for new ncrt right again this battle is there some students they are still not clear or old ncrt very simple it is but you have to follow the official syllabus right the syllabus that they have released in their information bulletin of 2024 you have to follow it so if you consider new ncrt i'll talk about some biology chapters so in new ncrt animal tissue chapter is not there it is a deleted right new families that are included in the right that are the part of your syllabus they are not there in the new ncrt right bache right so animal tissue is not there new families it is not there in the new ncrt but still it is the part of your syllabus so ultimately for preparing need right you need to focus on this official syllabus only right you have to focus on this official syllabus only so yes it is important for you to keep both the books that is new ncrt as well as old ncrt you have to keep these two books right so the chapters like animal tissue is not there in new ncrt read it from old ncrt some families are not there in new ncrt some of them are in old ncrt and for some your teachers can provide you the data right bache right so this is what you need to consider i'm just talking about the two chapters here okay i am just talking about the two chapters here so you have to follow the syllabus and you have to keep both the books if you can buy both very good otherwise you can buy new ncrt and for old ncrt you can download the pdfs and secondly now let's say the chapters which are common in both 
in new and old for that i'll suggest you to read the new ncrt so this is what you have to do as of now now i'll answer one more thing here i have seen some videos don't mind me saying that i have seen some videos and i have seen some people explaining about the difficulty level so they were saying that uh, when we talk about the need 2024 some questions right they were uh, from uh, they were outside they were not from ncrt right that nta has asked some question outside the ncrt and i don't agree right students i don't agree i have, i'll give you one example one of my students right he told me that ma'am this question mesozoic era proterozoic era cenozoic era paleozoic era right all these questions all these questions uh, this particular question it was not there in our syllabus but nta has asked it but no no it is the part of your syllabus and even if you will solve some old pyq you are going to get it but ma'am it is not given in ncrt right it is not but it is given in the evolution chapter if you will see the pictures there they have mentioned the eras right they have mentioned the periods right so basically the point is we we know that we have to revise the ncrt but we don't know how to absorb that and for that you need the good teachers right those who are claiming that these kind of questions they were they, they are not the directly they are not from ncrt they are right no doubt they have made the paper easy and they are just picking up direct ncrt they have decreased the level of uh, paper so that you know even school going students they can uh, participate in that paper without any hustle right but the point is students point is it is again from ncrt and you really need to solve the pyqs so i have seen that video where you know they have uh, marked many questions were there uh, from the uh, that questions were outside the ncrt but it is not it is not even if you will pick up that lines they are in the text itself some are in the theory some are in the summary some are in the exercise questions but uh, 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 but one thing is very clear that paper is going to come from ncrt it's just that you need to learn how to read ncrt how to absorb ncrt and to make your ncrt easy your teacher has to go a little beyond ncrt i'm not saying that teachers will teach uh, so many so many so many extra things no but they have to go little beyond ncrt so if you uh, want to right revise your ncrt revise your syllabus in a perfect way so you know that right uh, we are already taking the phoenix 2.0 batch right right soon bache phoenix 3.0 batch will also be there so all i can say is that in the description box there is a link click on that link and you can buy this course at this particular price right so click on that link and be the part of our batches where we are making your ncrt easy where we are solving pyqs where we are not just translating ncrt at least we are explaining it properly so start your preparation again if you want to be a doctor but if you are confused and you think that it is the only option then let me tell you there are multiple options right if you want if you are passionate about being a doctor then yes this exam is for you and we really hope we really pray that we don't see same things for the need 2025 and you know that still many hearings are going on right still they are pending we don't know what is going to come out of it maybe you know maybe they'll get some solid proof that the uh, exam was leaked and uh, you know and many students they didn't get the equal opportunity to write for the exam because this year number of centers were also in uh, increase so that is why also number of students right they also increase so uh, all that things will be considered for need 2025 also so all i can say is that please start preparation take care of your mental health guys so i will suggest you to be the part of batch to avoid any other thing right sometimes on youtube we see different different lectures we also get distracted but in batch there will be a particular uh, particular curriculum there will be a proper flow and that will be easy for you but still still if you have any issue you cannot join the batches or something you know that already on youtube also i'm taking the infinity series you can watch it right it's just that in batches the proper decorum the proper discipline will be there so decide wisely take care of yourself if you need any help from my side in the comment section you can put the comment so take care students and most important is take care of your mental health